that's in Nigeria, they will tell you 99% Niger. Out there. But the narrative of Nigerians playing 70, 30, 90, this thing, it's not so. It's not possible. I've never heard it anywhere before. I've not heard it in any radio station or TV stations before in Nigeria. If you produce a song that is making, uh, making waves in your country or making waves everywhere in the world, Nigeria will jam. Nigerians will play it. Radio stations will play it. So what they did was the 70, 30 thing. That was all that they did to, 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 to guide their space. Okay. You understand? So what they did was the 70 30 thing. That was all that they did. You know, pay for promotion. There's nothing like percentage when it comes to music. Is when your music is good. good. Your music is live on radio. Present reggae on radio. Mm. And I tell, tell you, Shasha Malik's music is always on my playlist. Wow. You know Shasha Malik, you play Shasha Malik. <laughs> DJ Paco Rich. Welcome to the channel. My name is DJ Paco Rich. If today is your first time watching my video here, then I'm going to encourage you to watch more of my videos. In Nigeria, my names be plenty. Some they call me Mazi. Some they call me Yotumba. Recently, I had a title called Isama. 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 And my northern people call me Siriki, 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 Siriki. And it's so beautiful to be loved from my fatherland, Nigeria. Yes. And so today we are going to have an interesting conversation. And I'll say I am the originator of this conversation because I had two interviews done here on this platform with Camilo's manager. And another artist, his name is Niso, very great artist. He's, he's been in a reality show in Nigeria before, uh, Niso. And they made certain statements. Looking at the feedback from my comment section, I realized now nah, I need to go down into this issue, do a couple of research, find out what the truth is because you people has given me the title the king of truth i go into issues i find out what's the truth and what's the lie and so i reached out to my nigerian arm my nigerian plug his name is victor he works with fresh fm ibada about a statement which was made that in nigeria they push for 70 percent of nigeria music and 30 percent is allocated for foreign music yes it was said by nisul i'm going to play the video to you and in another interview that i did um my brother mr george said that Nigeria plays 99% of Nigerian music and the 1% left is for foreign music, which is music which is not Nigeria. I reached out to, I reached out to Victor to find out if this is truly, 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 truly the fact in Nigeria, the Nigerian stations or Nigerian media houses or Nigerian music industry are pushing that agenda. And Victor said, no, no. Now he go explain with evidence. He say you know go tire. So I invite Vector on the line and I'll play him the video. Then we'll start this wonderful conversation. Vector, how you doing? I am doing amazingly well. It's always a pleasure to be on um, on this channel with you to to discuss music and internet. Great. I mean, it's always it's, great to have you too. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so I'm going to play you this video. And after that, I'll ask you some questions, some basic, basic, basic questions. So this is the first clip um, from London yesterday. Just as in Nigeria, they will tell you 99% Nigeria. Now, because it is not 100 percent that means that there's a little window for anyone who wants to promote 
his music or push himself in the space to get attention as well. Just as in Nigeria, they will tell you 99% Niger. Just as in Nigeria, they will tell you 99% Niger. Now, because it is not 100%, that means that there's a little window for anyone who wants to promote his music or push himself in the space to get attention as well. Just as in Ghana. I mean, if we are playing a lot more Ghanaian songs, that doesn't mean that anytime you hear a Nigerian song or something from South Africa or elsewhere in the world, it is it is a no-no. We didn't say 100% Ghanaian song. So definitely, that 20% space there is given to people that force their way into our playlist. All right, so this is the first interview that I... This is the second interview we had yesterday. But let me play the first one that we had from Niso and what he also said. That our people, like, we, we, too, we get talent now, you know, we did try. Yeah. So what can they do? And they realize that when you, when you look into their scene, and it wasn't just music, in the movies and all that, yeah. when you look into their scene, you realize that Ghanaians were flooding the place like crazy. So there was no, it, like, there wasn't this form of structure to, 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 to guide their space. Okay. You understand? So what they did was the 70-30 thing. That was all that they did. To, 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 to guide their space. Okay. You understand? So what they did was the 70-30 thing. That was all that they did. They had to do that. Okay. You understand? So what they did was the 70-30 thing. That was all that they did. They had to do that 70-30 thing and they had to do it by law. So when it comes to the arts and entertainment, 70% local and 30% the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to the rest of the world, if you remember in my post, I, I, I made a comparison that. Or I... Okay, Victor. So this is the conversation and that came from Ghana. But before you make your submission, I also want to play you another voice from a Nigerian radio station. Probably this might be the reason why they also made such statements. And so this is coming from, I think, Kenny's radio station in Nigeria. This is what he also said. Why we stop playing foreign music? And this is what gave back to what is Afrobeats today. Why we stop playing foreign music? And this is what gave back to what is Afrobeats today. Dr. Dokwesi called us one day and said, <laughs> now we're done. <laughs> What's number one on your top 10? It was Tupac. What's number two with New Houston? Number three. Top, everything was foreign, foreign, foreign. So, you people don't see any Nigerian that. We say, ah, it's only King Sonia, the Gina Vita. They don't, their music is not popular, sir. So, now we're done. So, how long will you keep doing that? Hmm. When has Michael Jackson ever called to say thank you thank for you making for my music? Okay, so that was Kenny's 104 point something Lagos studio. And that was, um, I don't know the man's name, but I'm sure some of the viewers there would, you know, be able to identify him. That is what he also said that um, at that time they were asked that who is topping the Nigeria chart and they were mentioning to pack and all that. The question that I want to ask Victor now is that when nigeria says foreign music is it music coming from europe america or they include music coming from africa do nigeria see stuffs from Afri uh, ghana as foreign songs from kenya as foreign or the kind of foreign that he was saying he was saying it in reference to the western world then after that you tell us if there is 70 percent or there is 99% law in Nigeria. So, Victor, you have the floor. Okay, um, thank you. I I really love this conversation, and I'm happy when you throw this question at me. You want me to tell you the truth about what is happening in the Nigerian music industry. Yeah. I would gladly tell you the honest truth. You see, let me start the conversation with this saying. You see, a Nigerian artist will hear a foreign hit song taking over Lagos. And they will say, this is fire. How can I make music to see this good? Then he will go and make something as hard to overthrow that foreign song. That is Nigerian artist for you. 
they will hear Niger that is that is typically a nigerian artist they will hear a foreign song you know banging all the airwaves in nigeria and they will tell you ah, this song is amazing this song is hot how can i make something this hard and they will go into the studio work hard produce something that will overthrow that song but you know it's quite unfortunate and it is annoying or it is quite funny when you hear a lot of narratives from other african countries saying all these kind of things about nigerian music industry or about nigerian airwaves nigerian media not uh, doing uh, partial or doing doing favoritism or doing culture or playing the 70 30 or the 90 10 or whatever that is not true that is a very honest lie it is nothing but a lie victor i want you to state emphatically so that we can put it on record that in nigeria music industry okay. they do not have either 70 percent of nigerian content and 30 percent of foreign content or 99 percent of nigerian content or one percent of foreign content i want you to state it emphatically so that we put it on record because i'm going to do back checks from other radio stations in nigeria i don't want it to look like because i work with you because of because you are my man you are cooking up stories so that we can get it from other sources other djs other people in nigeria because you know this platform is well respected when it comes to speaking out the truth so i want you to state yeah. it emphatically on record victor we are listening all right so all right so let me tell you let me let me clarify this very well okay so basically i don't know i don't really know where all these people get their information from or where they get their um facts from but i want to joyfully tell you that all these people saying all these things are misinformed that is not true about nigeria here with or nigeria media playing the 70 and 30 this thing it is not it is not true I work as the music um, um, librarian and also the music promotional officer for Fresh FM Nigeria. I am in charge of every music and every promotional artist. I will back. I will back up my evidence with you. This is. This is. Look at this thing. You must have seen this thing before. Yeah. This guy is Olamide. That is my name written on it. Do you see for radio use only? Yes. This is his album. This is his unruly album. He just released the album. This guy is promoting his album by himself. Now, Olamide is a very popular artist. Yeah. He's blown everywhere. He could say that I, I'm, I, I'm a blown artist. I'm a very popular artist. I don't need to promote my stuff anymore. I just release song and go into his, his, his resting place. But then he understand the uh, the, the um, importance of promotion, and this guy would circulate all his songs to all radio stations, all media. This is it is written boldly there. Radio use only. All these songs are edited for radio use only. So probably most of these guys, probably where they get their information from, we have this system called uh, this system in Nigeria, this organization in Nigeria. They call them the NBC, Nigeria Broadcasting Corporation. Mm. These people shows or work work on ensuring the kind of things that go on every radio or tv station you and what i mean by what goes on on every radio and tv station i meant what, what, what i mean is when you are to play anything those things must not be harmful must not contain hateful speech must not contain cost words or some things that are not good for the consumption of the listenership okay so they make sure they, they, they listen to the radio and you know work in hand in hand with the radio stations or the media house to ensure that they censor all the stuff that are coming out or coming out from the media houses okay so maybe maybe that could be what they think they do and they are trying to portray to uh, to their listeners or to their um followers out there but the narrative of nigerians playing 70 30 90 this thing is not so it's not possible i've not heard it anywhere before i've not heard it in any radio station or tv stations before in nigeria if you produce a song that is making uh, making waves in your country or making waves everywhere in the world nigeria will nigerians will play it radio stations will play it let me tell you something 
Accord they did a, a collaboration with um, the whalers, the um, 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 Bob Marley and the whalers. Did yeah. a collaboration with them, yeah. Stereo Remix. Yeah. Remix, we played it back to back in our stations. We back to back because it was a good song, it was a nice song. When you produce a good song, producers, um, DJs in Nigeria, show promoters, everybody will play it. It is what people want to listen to that you give them. Mm. To the point that we most radio stations in Nigeria has a request show on their mm. on each of their channels or on each of their radio stations, and people request for song. You will not be a listener and request for song mm. from me, and I will play you otherwise. It is not possible. We play what the listeners want to listen to, and let me tell you something: the amount or the rate at which Nigerians are producing it every year, every day, every month is so fucking. I don't want to use that cuss word or that, that word. It is so alarming. It is so alarming and so competitive. Nigerians are in competition with themselves, not with the world. Mm. If you keep competing with a Nigerian or you could keep competing with Nigerians, they are not looking at you. Nigerians are, co we are competing with ourselves. Mm. My, my competition is not somebody in Ghana. My competition is somebody that is stopping the chart here in Nigeria. Mm. If you check the Nigeria Happy Music chart, you will discover that it is war over there. Mm. Today, mm. Bonner Boy is number one. Tomorrow, his Daniel is there. Mm. Mm. It is competition. Competition we have here. It is not Nigeria against the world. It is Nigerian with Nigerians competing against each other. See, I will tell you this thing. We can the radio stations in Nigeria now can play from morning to evening back to back Nigerian songs without having to play outside an uh, international song. Because the amount of songs we have in Nigeria, you can keep playing and you will not repeat one song. Well, Victor, when you say that, then I think um, you are confirming what they said. That if you say that the radio stations in Nigeria... No, no, you don't understand me. What I'm trying to say, I'm trying to let you understand that Nigeria has this new bank, this, 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 this enormous music that is yeah. in the country already it is you cannot finish playing it mm. so now when you listen to radio stations in nigeria not playing um international song it is not because they don't want to play it but right here you are playing a song and your listeners want to you're playing bonner boy bonner boy just released an album and you can imagine on that album you have like four each track on that album you just you want to play play is done he released an album too you want to play my guy is done here too and then there is another fan out there who wants to listen to Shei vibes. There's another fan out there who wants to listen to Ashake. There's another fan out there who wants to li listen to Spiral. There's another fan out there who wants to listen to um, Ira Star. It is so enormous. So the fact that you are not hearing Nigerians playing international song, it is not because uh, one media, one group of people came together to make a law of uh, play 90% of this, play 10% of this, or play 70% of this, play 30% of that. It is not true. It is not true. Let me let me give you a secret in, um, to something that is happening in Nigeria. Okay. Naramali song, even before this movement against Naramali, that don't play Naramali songs anyway, we real, you read, really see a radio station playing Naramali song because it is NTTB. Many of that is not to be broadcasted. Most of Neramali's song contains vulgar words, contains okay. words that are not edible or they, uh, uh, ed they are not good mm. for the consumption of listeners. Mm. You understand? And then sometimes you see when I when I listen to narrative your side, especially side, when I listen to kind of narratives about Nigerian music industry and how they 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 approach international music, it is funny to me because I will tell you these things. Why you keep why the reason why you keep uh, saying foreign investors or people labels from outside nigeria bringing their investment to nigeria to invest in nigerian music industry is because of the consumption nigerian google this yourself and make your research nigeria is now one of the biggest countries in the world with this consumption of music oh no no two ways about that i i i know the numbers i have the data and all that that is very exactly. true when, you have, very when true. you have a product to sell when you have a product to sell and you have a market for it, you have where people will consume it. Would you not take your business there? You will. You will. You will take it there. And that's why you see Nigerians. Nigerians are winning out there. It, not because of any other thing. Because they, there is a market for their song. Mm. We have the market. We have the eats. We have the creatives. 
we have the, we have the hard working um, artists and all that what, what would you expect now see let, let me let me let me let me shock you so you see this olamide promoting is out yeah. on, on a normal on a normal day if he did not bring this to yeah. any radio station for promotion who play his song do you know that yeah i know very well we play it but he is not looking at that now somebody who has committed us into promoting his um this song we will do better we will play it more because now he has committed us into playing it he has paid for the perfectly. promotion he has paid for the promotion and all that now one thing that is surprising or that is wrap it uh, up funny wrap about it up wrap it up we are hitting our time like okay, almost okay. 20 minutes so all right let me let me just let me just let me just say this let me just say this uh about the other guy the first guy you played the first video you played about the other guy who said nigerian played this and that it is it is very funny to me and it is not so the guy is just misinformed he does not understand the nigerian music industry and the medias he does not understand them he is misinformed and another thing is this uh you see Nigerian artists, Nigeria, Nigeria is one of these countries in the world that travel most in Africa. We travel, we are e almost everywhere in the world. There's no country you get to, you, you get to that you won't find a Nigerian there. Now, that Nigerians go with their product. You go with your, I go with my, if I'm traveling to any country in the world now, I will first listen to Nigerian music before I start blending into their culture. They will go with Gary as well. For that one, I, I, I met a Nigerian in Dubai with Gary. <laughs> so, Victor, your, exactly. point, your, point, your point has been made very well, clear known to people that Nigeria hasn't established any law to play 70% no or 99%. There's no law. No, 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 no. That's we, not we have done almost um, about 20 minutes of our conversation and i wouldn't want us to exceed more your point has been made and i have been doing this with victor victor works with fresh fm in ibada blast fm in ibada one of the most authoritative radio station there in nigeria when it comes to proper proper radio content you have to listen to fresh or blast fm so um the point has been made if you think otherwise or if you have other evidence like Bernard boy will say you go explain explain if you have evidence if you have other concrete information and you still want to you know you know make some things clear you can hit victor you can hit me up and then we'll have a very great conversation my name has been dj Paco rich called mazi otumba isama and i've been doing this with my brother victor let them know your social media handles and where they can follow you as well okay so if you want to connect with me you want to have a conversation you want to you want to talk to me you want business you want us to do anything together you can reach out to me on my, my instagram account, oluwa o l u w a underscore victor v with the victor with the double high that's v double high c t o r oluwa underscore and um, you can also subscribe to my youtube channel which is breakdown with victor and you have amazing content and this time doing uh or riding with me thank you very much all right so it's been wonderful speaking to my brother victor all the way from nigeria breakdown with victor has a lot of exclusive content there for example this subject that we have discussed if you want into details more nigerian bit about it you can definitely reach out to victor to give you more of that information on breakdown with victor my name has been dj Paco rich and we'll keep doing this keep doing this till we are all satisfied here in africa both ghana and nigeria we are doing this for the betterment of our continent we are reuniting ourselves through dialogue you see if we do not understand ourselves that doesn't mean we should pull guns and knives we can sit down like this and have conversations and understand ourselves very well my name has been dj parkourage you can call me mazi you can call me otumba you can call me whatever you want to call me but let me know where you are watching from give me your comments in the comment section and everything will be lovely. I'm out of here. Definitely do this another time. Okay? Bye bye. DJ Paco Rich.